The lion is the king of the jungle. That's what most people say. But I'm here to say, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. And that's according to the African traditions. And I don't know about you, but I'm not going to argue with them. Seeing as I don't even live in Africa. And I'm pretty sure most of you don't either. And on top of that, lions are native to Africa. So I think the African tribes will know a thing or two about whether the lion deserves to be king of the jungle. All right then. So what is the king of the jungle then? It's got to be the tiger, right? Yeah, it's got to be the tiger. I mean, it's massive. Actually lives in the jungle. Does its own thing. No one messes with it. Definitely the tiger, right? Or what about the elephant? So majestic, graceful, goes about its business. No one again is tangling with an elephant. Unless you want a death wish. But nope. The honour of being the jungle king goes to none other than a noble Ingui. That's a leopard to me and you. You see, according to the Africans, the leopard is far more intelligent and way harder to kill than the lion. Because you see, they view it as being pretty predictable. And according to them, all you need to do with the lion is stand in front of it, let it charge you. Madness, by the way. As soon as it's about to leap, drop to your knees, get your boys, ambush it, kill it, done. Leopard, on the other hand, ain't that stupid. Plus, they can attack from all different directions. Left, right, it might miss you. Guess what, it's coming back for more. I don't want to mess with that. It also seems to be that the Western misconception of the lion being king seems to be coming from only two factors. One being, of course, their stature and their strength, and the other being their loud roar. Eh, a bit of a weak argument, I would say. The Africans definitely believe that. And here's something for you to ponder over. Did you know that a leopard is actually pound per pound stronger than the lion? Yeah, I didn't know that either. Pretty cool. Oh, and guess what else? It's a far more skilled hunter than the lion as well. It's not looking well for the lion being king, is it? And at best, probably going to get overthrown, even if it is the king. You see, the leopard can take down a 300 pound bull eland by itself and kill it quite easily. Whereas a lion needs its pride to help it out just to attack it and will struggle to even bring it down and will probably get kicked off in the process just like it does with the zebra which is less heavy as well add to the fact the leopard weighs half that of the lion lion being 500 pounds so the leopard is about 250 pounds can do this all by itself with ease might i add just shows how impressive it is and how much of a badass it is in addition to this guys the lion is a lazy hunter and by that i mean all it's going to do is hunt what is on the grasslands. That's where it lives. It's going to take down grazing animals. Because that's all that's there. And if it's not there, guess what? They struggle with what they get to eat. Whereas the leopard has a far more diverse diet. And can eat up to about 90 different species, I believe. Such as monkeys, fish, reptiles, rodents. And so much more, guys. And last but not least, guys. Think about this. The tribal kings and queens of Africa have leopard skins draped around them. Not lion skins. So if that doesn't tell you who they think the true king of the jungle is, I don't know what does. But according to them, leopard skin is like a status symbol, which shows obviously your royalty. Okay guys, my question to you is, do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one. Peace.